That's just as oppressive as Palo. Yeah, keep that up. Anyway, so we're gonna get ZD was talking before. He was talking with Kapuba about uh, getting some like hints or whatever, like matchup knowledge. Mm. Because Peanut uh, has been kind of struggling just to release in, release in general, especially recently. Interesting. Well, today doesn't look like one of those days. <laughs> you know, already put an 84 on the board. And Peanut hasn't been... Oh my god, that was zero to death right off jump. Sheesh. Yeah, Peanut has not been around. He's been uh, he's been in and out of his desire to play the game. It seems though that he's with all like the events coming up this summer that he's more interested... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's more interested in coming back around and picking it back up. Mm. But... That was just two players exploding right off the bat. That was Smash Ultimate 2023 in a nutshell. Just show them that 40 second clip and then boom, you have what the metagame should be looking like. You don't let your opponent play the game if you have any control of the situation. I will say, Ridley, Ridley is a character we've been seeing a lot more in the region. We've also just been seeing a lot more in general. Um, Goblin this weekend got upset in his round one at Battle PC by a two and two Japanese uh, Ridley player. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it's... They're finally getting out of MDVA. That, oh, that was so good. But yeah, maybe we were just kind of ahead of the curve. Maybe Ridley was always like that. We knew. Y'all are catching up, though. So we've had a Ridley on every PR, like, ever. Yep. Um, and I learned, like, during the research for the last PR, that the only we've only had one PR where Ridley wasn't in the top. And that hit? I really, man. It had to, like, his face, I mean, his head had to, like, extend it up during the, like, ending frames of it. Mm -hmm. But... You have to hit those tags, otherwise Mac has that speed to just run up on you and punish you for lack of tech. Yeah, yeah, Fracky teleport in your face and almost uh, put in a bad position. Upbeat could be close to kill on the platform here, but, or excuse me, Peanut is just ready to kill you no matter what your position is. So, ZD has to get a hit and has to make a count now. Just do it again. Yeah. Oh, heavy enough, I guess. I mean, he is a big body, even if, you know, he doesn't have the weight to pack it up lighter than Samus, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Even, I don't blame <laughs> ZD, had the, ZD had the perfect end, like reaction there. I think everybody went like that at that point. Yeah, a little bit of Wojak no, moment right there, but you know, <laughs> like I don't blame not him. The I don't blame ZD Wojak. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't seen that yet, actually. I, I am too. I mean, have you seen the meme? I think it was uh, Mescardi uh, made the one with like ZD going like with the wolf up there. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I love, I love some like the the memes that you, you put effort into them. Like the drawn memes are so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so that was a short-lived um, Ridley coming out from ZD. Going to go back to the tried and true uh, Wolf. Thing is, you know, if you're playing this uh, tournament for data, I would have gone Ridley another game. It didn't do bad. It was just, you know, you both zeroed to death each other off jump, and then you got you got hit one time in the third sock and died off. The you know, that's just how it's going to go. Yeah, but just like you can see right now, his uh, vantage state on Peanut is rather rather good. Wolf does have one of the best. I'll say, I'll say best uh, base roster uh, vanishes in the game. Mm. This dude has the ability to consistently keep you at the ledge. And getting off the ledge versus Wolf is hard. Uh, Bear is just a great neutral tool that you have. So, um, and what more do you need at that point? Yeah, he really is the jack of all trades and master of some, to be honest. But right now, ZD in a comfortable position. One thing I do notice, though, that might come into play is he's burning his double jump really early in these situations. I don't know how much Gulliback can get off of that, but uh, he could end up dying early if he doesn't finish his play at all. Ah, uh, yes, the classic jump off fair from um, Little Mac. Of course, textbook. Doc Lewis taught him that. I, I mean, I got to think about like, how optimal of a move in boxing that would be just to go out, jump, and swing with one arm. That's so many fouls. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> That's <laughs> the best way for your opponent to win. Oh, yeah, I mean, you do that because, like, in real life, Realistically, if you just go out jumping at somebody, that's just that's just you're gonna get punched in an area you don't want to get punched. Yeah, really, they can just hold their fist out in front of them, and you'd knock yourself out. Yeah, yeah. But unless you're like little Mac, can just generate power in the air. It's not a good idea. But if you're Mac, go away. Gets an upbeat kill. But he's not in a pretty bad position right now. So. Oh, he's oh, dead. Oh, good not gonna go for the ZD is usually really good on hitting. If he, you know, if he knows he has to go for the wolf flash or the bear there. I'm a bit surprised that he did actually mess someone up, but you know, sometimes you just got you get. There's a few situations where you just you can't uh, stagger it. You have to do it instantly. And if you just bro, just wrong, you don't hit it. But you know, one of those things where like the read is so hard, it feels like it should have killed. Oh yeah, there's yeah. so <laughs> many. The reason why so many clips end before it, like you see the kill screen and that's when it ends. Yeah, because they didn't kill and.
would have yeah. been a better story if it did. I mean, he still ended up dying five seconds later, but you know what? That read was raw as heck, so. ZD taking that game right back. And just like, uh, as, looks like ZD left the battlefield open, which I know is not like, you know, his favorite stage. I mean, but you know whose favorite stage that may be? Peanuts. If he can, he will take you to battlefield, mm -hmm. and you will like it. Because, no, you won't. You're just gonna get, you're gonna get laddered by Little Mac. Yeah. It's such a weird sentence, but we swear it happens. It's true. Peanut doesn't. Just watch. Plus, you have that. You have that platform. Also, that nailed at 15 percent. Numbers aren't real anymore. It's something I've learned is the more and more I watch and commentate and play this game, the percent doesn't matter. It definitely does not. Yeah. Only matters like once you're past 80, because you can either die or just end up losing you for a longer period of time if you. You know, get tagged off stage. Other than that, though, you know, if you're alive, you still swing. Boom. Although, it's like, you didn't mention that ZD has been using his jump rather early. That's. No, oh, you're oh, able to get out of that. ZD has been using his jump rather early. There's a few situations like where Peanut can just actually go down and counter, which isn't as effective normally against Wolf, because Wolf with a jump can make it back usually. Yeah. Because Mac, uh, Mac counters in like the best, plus with the strength of. Wolf up because it's like a multi-hit move. It doesn't always get the strongest counter hitbox. Um, yep. Could definitely go down to punish him, but it's one of those situations where you have to realize ZD lost his jump and he's going low, which is not something Wolf players will do, really. Yeah. Ideally, you know, for most characters, they can just kind of, or Wolf can just kind of side B or up B back to save before the character can get the position to edge guard. But Peanut, Peanut, when you have the mix, when you have the speed, and you have the chops to execute, Cold set up situations like these, two stocks up. And whipping the up smash, but I mean, the forward angle up smash, but still has enough time to just pretty much have to know. Yeah. Up oh, and there's that side B, but still nothing coming out. Getting the um, back air stuff as well. ZD, I mean, I can see the wind leaving the sails. This might be a GG go next moment. So one of like the few situations I ever see uh, ZD go to the stage, maybe it don't take both the battlefield, which isn't necessarily like, you know, say, Oh, it's an obvious thing because Wolf is, doesn't mess. Wolf is a good character no matter what, so it's yeah. not going to matter really most of the time. I also think in this game, Battlefield is just not as common as a counter pick as people as they used to be in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, I've only found an example is whenever Krishan plays against ZD, ZD usually does go Wolf because that matchup is horrendous. Yeah. For um, back, back then. yeah, that should take the stock. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But um, he will typically go Fox whenever Krishan takes him to Battlefield. Mm -hmm. I don't expect to see Fox going on here. This he does not like, he does that, not like that matchup, and I do not blame him. Although we have seen like the record of Moku and uh, Peanut is pretty. I'm pretty sure it's mostly Moku favor. Mm -hmm. At least it goes to him. Like he also hasn't been around much recently. Yeah. But when I when he was here, it was like you know game five is most of the time. But it, most of the time it's also Moku just squeaking it out. I feel like Moku plays that can play this match a little bit better though. I talked to ZD a long time ago about Lomac, and I said to him, "Yeah, you kind of have to stop playing scared in certain situations." He's like, "Well, I'm not really scared." I'm like, but you, when I say scared, I mean you don't finish your place. As in, you don't remember that this is massive tier difference, and sometimes you just got to go out there and do stuff like that, and you know, actually follow through on. You got to play committal. So it's good. Yeah. ZD doesn't always commit. Moku full sin stuff. That's why I feel like he might play this matchup better. Oh, that's counter. That's an easy tech. But that's what I was talking about. Yeah, you just tech it right there. Only did uh, 12%. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nothing. This game. That's literally just an up from him anyways. And yeah, go for it at that point. But you know, you probably could have kept it. But hey, it's just, it's a kind of a dumb option. Realistically, full, running full screen into care punch is not the smartest option. But that's what works sometimes. Yeah. Plus, when you're a game up, sometimes that sends enough of a message to make them think again when uh, you're in that position again and play your problem. And plus, he didn't die for it. He's liable to get the kill soon, but he keeps that kill away first, gets that dash attack, takes away the stop. 92%. That shouldn't kill it. Town City, high ceilings. And why? Grab, fair to grab. Gonna be able to get a dash attack off 34%. But now it's peanut on the... Uh, on the ledge, that should take the stock on the platform. Yeah. Yeah. ZD kind of shaking his head, knowing that was a bad position. Most characters would have been fine, but against Lil Mac, yeah, Peanut just has that option locked and loaded. Bro, stop holding in. Stop holding in. <laughs> the ledge. The bank. It's a lot of characters also do it. Too high and too much rage. Wait, wait yeah. But most characters do have options for, um, you know, juggling Mac, keeping them in the air, and most of them are lighter, like, you know, 
multiple fighter attacks, so like Palu up air, Palu in air, um, big one. So a lot of time Matt can use neutral B to uh, just arm it through it. But with Wolf, you don't really have those you know attacks that are weak. Your you, your attacks are strong. Yeah. Um. So Matt doesn't necessarily lose anything either from having KO punch on the board. So Peanut getting rid of it early is kind of surprising. But sometimes it feels like he just wants to get the kill. Big kills. I mean, Peanut's about to die at any second. Oh, man, took it away. Cold. Yeah, I with no was, KO punch there. I think it was like the first frame or something. Like the first like half second that I was a uh, move doesn't work. Um, first half second that move. That KO punch was able to be taken away. That should be a stock, but I don't think he's too stressed about it. Well, he might need to be soon though. He doesn't. Have, he's not close to KO punch, so he's not gonna get it within the range you know, without realistically, like, you know, ZD just throwing, because <laughs> that's like another 50 percent to take. And realistically, ZD letting him get to 200 percent is not really ZD like. You need to stop shooting those lasers, in my opinion, because they don't matter at this point. Like they're just giving free KO punch meter. But yeah, gets that dash attack. Gets that uh, kill. We got ourselves a game five. I, I expect us. Battlefield probably going to be. ZD doesn't seem like someone who cares about MDSR, but when you fight against. When you're counterpicking against ZD, I mean, counterpicking against someone as ZD, you're going to probably start caring about it. So I don't imagine we're going to go to many different stages, but Hollow makes sense for both these characters. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of the natural landing point in the game five between these two. Go, Wolf, Little Mac. I almost call Little Mac Peanut. That's not a sin. I mean, it, honestly, at this point, yeah. I mean, he is he is the best Little Mac. And before, I don't want to hear anything about uh, the Japanese one. It peanuts him. There's no other way to describe it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Also, drop the cool bar attack. Culture. Watch <laughs> class again. Yu Yu Hawk shows the bit. Peanut loves anime. I feel like whenever I talk with him, he always has to bring something up about it. Which, hey man, I respect it. But he's definitely a culture person when it comes to the uh, world of anime. We love to see it. But right now, I'm sure ZD loves to see what's happening on screen right now. Getting all the reads, getting a huge punish, gets that down smash absolutely smoked. And you can see Peanut kind of like just knows he made the wrong decision there. That should be the stop. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but ZD, yeah, ZD not pressing a button there and going to get punished for it. Probably expecting that he can get to the ledge and you know, what will Mac do, but. And then once again, we talked about it in the uh, first game. Mac is fast. You yes. have to, you have oh, to start wait. doing things. Oh, oh didn't think, oh, I don't oh, think oh. he expected the uh, up honestly. Yeah. Especially at that angle. He just went a little bit higher than even I expected to. But, you know, take That actually should be it. That, yeah, that should be it. You were very, very high up. Yeah, you jumped over him with a nair. Second that shield, bam, up tilt him. Because that move hits everywhere, it feels like. Something I love about these two player sets is that they are over so quick. I get a blink of my I love watching them, but they just play at such a blistering speed, and it can go either way. Even still, ZD not giving up. Look at all the damage that was put on Peanut and not reading the neutral get up. After Peanut died from the last one, I'm surprised he wouldn't put another neutral get up there as well. Yeah. Ooh, can't, uh, can hit the shield right there, and he's not really putting on that extra credit right now. You know, he did have a, I think he was like at 38 when he took ZD stock. Mm -hmm. He's only played 19 so far for it. But not get punched that. That's gonna be the stock. All right, we got ourselves a final, final stock here. Game five. You know, Next touch decides it. My I think you're right there. You go. Equal damage. Boom. Equal, uh, Bad positioning. Let trap. ZD chopping at the bit a little bit on that um, forward air. But still, Tina kind of playing too far ahead of himself. He's overcommitting a little bit here and there. And he's got the memo. Now he's getting momentum back. What an angle from that. And that's not gonna be punished, but he can't turn around. So he's just gonna. I think you may have also expected a cross up. Because that move has really weird properties of oh, it cross up and it doesn't. But now this is what ZD's gonna do for the next few uh okay. next few seconds. He's gonna be jumping around because he can't shield. Oh man, this is so scary. Don't let if, if you're ZD, you can't let him get back on that stage, and you did. So what do you do? What do you do? Good parry right there. And oh. the good risky grab, but you did it, and how are you getting it? Off is gonna get a sour spot uh, dash attack right there. It, oh no way! Yep, that is it. At the eleventh hour, it's all about how you confirm and convert into kills, and Peanut has that in spades, especially on Hollow Bastion. ZD, you know, kind of smiling, taking the stride, but still probably not feeling too happy about it. Definitely not. Yeah. Oh, shout out to the tag. Thank you, Noah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it really. 
did feel like a last mistake situation. Like, the, both those games, uh, both those, like, last hit games, we didn't really see many of those, because it felt like majority of them were pretty one-sided. Mm -hmm. But, like, that ca um, the Town and City game and then the Hollow game felt like, you know, whoever made that last mistake is just going to lose it. Like, yeah. it's typically, that is typically how it cookie crumbles, but, like, it was, you really had to pray you didn't make that mistake. And each time, you know, Pina and ZD both respectively made their mistakes. Yeah. That mistake, mistake from ZD especially ended up just being landing on shield or just approaching walls someone was on platform. Yeah. In situations where he didn't need to, you know. It's 